the Brotherhood of Bolts is black, but our bed is laid beyond. You unlock this door with the secret password. Beyond it is another sea. A sea of black. A sea of goo. A sea you are probably not high enough level for. Once you leave, you will not be able to return. You just crossed over into the Beyond section. everybody. Welcome back to Just Roll with It Riptide, the show where three pirates from the Oversea are flung into Allport on a quest to save their lost dog. Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy and I play chip. Here's your, here's your chip fact no, for the day. No, you didn't bring uh, a chip fact, man. You never oh, have a chip oh, fact. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, I have one today. No, I have you're one making today. it up I right here. You're just fucking have one. one. Dude, I have one. Jeez, somebody's a little moody. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 oh, so, Chip. Shit myself. Little known fact about Chip: he's actually lactose intolerant, <laughs> but still drinks milk anyway. What? Whoa. Doesn't that hurt his stomach? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. It does. It does. It does. Bro, you know he's not being brave about it. Oh. Uh, Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Connie. Hey. I play yeah. Jay. Your J fact for the day: she doesn't actually know how to navigate. She's been bullshitting what? this entire time. Yo, I believe that one actually. That's not. That's not. That, that's actually not. That's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not that hard Come to on, believe. man. That's a fake J. Come, did you have a real J fact this week, man? Yeah, he did. He just said it. Dude, I just said it. What about you, huh? Do you have a real? You have a real fact today, huh? Yeah. Where's your? Where's your real Gillian fact, huh? If you're gonna be such a fucking critic. Yeah, so, uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, what's up, guys? Everyone's uh, least favorite host, uh, Charlie Slime Skull, and I play uh, Gillian Tide Strider. You can do the character voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, oh, boy. My fish fact is that for breakfast, you know how yep. um, most people might eat uh, something, something, something like cereal. Like maybe Chip eats like corn flakes. Well, he, I, that's he's lactose intolerant, so maybe he has the corn flakes. Was, uh, so maybe he doesn't have cereal, but uh, but like Jay, maybe she yeah. have corn. And so what? Uh -huh. Fish flakes. That it. <laughs> that's it. And welcome Anything to else? just roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I think it's. Uh, I think it's to do my. <laughs> oh right! <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm I'm Grizzly. I'm the captain of this ship. Uh, and your cap fact for today is that I piss stones now. Let's get on with the show. And that's not cap. <laughs> Where we last left off, Chip, you discovered the secrets of the Beyond section, a gateway into the sealed off enigmatic Black Sea, the place where you lost everything, and the place you will return. Jay, you enchanted your tattoo to spread your wings. And you continue to do your absolute best to keep yourself and everyone around you together. Gillian, you read your sister's letter and smashed the conch shell on every connection it had. You tried all the things you could think of to wake Peepaw Fish, but to no avail. And now, the three of you, captains of the Riptide Pirates. Following your worry for Rufus, you find yourselves in the midst of a raft ambush in the street of the Golden Circa Market. And so, the journey continues. Everybody, roll initiative. <gasps> 14 6 5 It's okay, this is an ambush So like, this is like totally normal for me I'm sure no, nothing bad can happen From the, the nightmare cat going first Before me, I'm sure nothing yeah, bad Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? can happen out of this? Maybe you rolled a 4, guys <laughs> Yeah, maybe you rolled a natural 1 and got <laughs> a minus, minus, minus 4 <laughs> Jay, as you turn the corner around the building Trying to get to the back side of uh, the Divine Barkiness To see if there's an entrance You are met with this almost like golden long-barreled gun in your face It's the first thing you see as soon as you turn You start to move just a little bit And you look past the gun and you see a face It's familiar And you hear Jay? Oh... Uh, <laughs> No. No, it's true, isn't it? 
Uh, God damn it, Jay! You really are a pirate. And you look oh, past and you see. Fuck. <laughs> at first, it's just sort of this sort of phasey memory of a young girl with this tiny little horn. Now this, uh, uh, much more mature, grown like you are, still still very familiar facial features. But now she has this like long white hair with golden undertones flowing with the wind. She has bangs that fall over the forehead and frame the sides of the face. You can see the horn is much longer and golden, which matches the colors of her eyes. She's wearing the usual captain's uniform for raft, though her top is much more casual at her own discretion. And you get a glimpse of the scales behind the coat collar just on her neck and her arms. And she's pointing this gun and she just like, she goes, oh, it's unfortunate. Oh, Kira. Oh, it's so good to see you. Hey, you look lovely, really. You look, you're looking great. Yeah, it's been so long. You know, maybe you can just put the gun out and we can catch up properly. You know, it's, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, I should ask you what you're doing being a pirate now. What happened? I'd like to take a glance back to see like back where Gillian is <laughs> and see what's going on over there. You, you try to eye it with, cause you're observant with your, with your feet. You can see that and you heard it, that crash into the, the street. And you heard uh, the sort of low lion growl from Ad Vice Admiral Kuba Kenta, who exclaimed that he could smell the rats, and he is facing Gillian and Ollie. Uh, but you are currently sort of stuck in this position in front. She goes, I'm gonna have to try and arrest you now. Yeah, emphasis on the try. <laughs> She's gonna go for a, a grapple at first. Okay. And uh, in your history, you know that she's typically much stronger than you are. So go ahead and roll. I think it's uh, you roll athletics or acrobatics. Okay, it's both the same. I rolled so shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did I roll a natural 20? Oh, fuck my life. In this sort of like a uh, flash, she just very similar to what you guys went through when you were younger. She puts you in this sort of like lock. Yeah. And that's going to be her turn for now. She goes, all right. Um, yeah. It oh, God. Just like old times, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to cuff you now. I don't. God, Jay, why are you a pirate? You know, would you believe if I said we're, like, probably still on the same side, maybe? She's, like, squirming? <laughs> the deception. <laughs> no, I mean, you can go ahead. She's like, um... No, no. Let's <laughs> no, tell me more. <laughs> it was a really good lie, 21. Okay, well, she believes that you are on the same side, but she still needs to... She's still wondering, yeah. like, what you what you mean. <laughs> so she's, she's still grappling you, but she's giving you the opportunity uh, on your turn to, to, you know, speak back. But as this is sort of happening, next up, right in front of you, Gilliam, that oh, hulking so lion fuck. man with the backwards hands, uh, wearing that sort of red Vice Admiral coat off the shoulders, and he's just sort of yeah. like lumbering forward, and he says, Usually, I like my fish cooked. And he just whoosh, dashes forward, and Ollie goes, ah! Wait a second. Uh, he's going to just try and immediately gouge your intestines out. I'm fish! Yes, you are. <laughs> That, unfortunately, though, I mean, fortunately for you, is going to... Well, actually, no, your AC is, is eight. If it is, if it is... Your AC less, is eight, if right? If it is less than an eight, then I'm good, oh, baby. Fuck. I'm in the fucking clear. Well, I actually rolled a natural nine, which I thought was going to be bad. Oh! <laughs> Moving at well, this speed. Well, I guess he eats me, and I roll a new character. <laughs> well, <laughs> at, at this speed, I mean, it is like with... He travels, you know, at, at 40 feet per, per round, and then he's just Bruh. right in front of you. And you feel those claws. It seems like he's backhanding you, but you do notice that the hands are inverted, so he just fucking claws right into your stomach. Uh, and you feel... Like I'm gonna have nightmares for months. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to take... 14 points of slashing damage. Holy shit. And immediately, this sort of... Without even needing to expend your divine sense... Yeah. You feel this fiendish corrupting, almost like it's warm, boiling liquid into your abdomen. Well, that wasn't your teeth, so I'll assume that was just a playful threat. The difference is, I'm going to actually eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done. He strikes again. <laughs> oh no. This time he scratches right next to your face. Um, and because of your low AC, there's no way it's going to miss, ever. You take eight points of slashing damage. You feel more of that, that necrotic, fiendish, sort of just the absolute vile, cursing uh, magic into your skin. Almost like leeches crawling under it. Just feels so... Ew. It just rips through. And then he backs up and he tilts his head and goes, Hmm, is this really how strong you are? 
<laughs> Let me go. Let me take my turn. I'll show you. <laughs> Back up more. Back up more than five feet. Back up a little more. Just a little. Just a smidge. Come on. Does the wee little rat need more time to prepare? No, I just there's uh you're gonna you're gonna slip. You're gonna slip if you keep uh, standing there. You need to back up just a little. <laughs> I do want to make sure I'm crushing you at your peak. You know, actually, it's it's funny you mention that because I was going to get this new armor commission. So right now you're fighting a very, very weak, weak, unarmored version of me. So when you lose, it's going to feel even worse. As you're sort of pointing back, you're describing this um, armor commission. You sort of actually gesture at the Divine Barkness. And we move into the shop filled with magical darkness. And Chip, before you get a chance to ignite your swords, you're surrounded by nothing. Even with dark vision granted to you by wielding your blades, you see nothing. You hear a flop right in front of you. You can't see it yet, but it startles you. I will take out the crimson blade and... Fire on! Uh, I just <laughs> light up, light o, hot mode. Which one is the command? Hot mode. Hot mode. I say hot mode. It's hot, hot mode. <laughs> and, it, and it turns on. <laughs> you fucking made it hot <laughs> mode. <laughs> this is a really serious moment, and you just whisper, "Hot oh, mode, dude." It's gonna be so hot sick. A hundred episodes in the future, we're gonna be fighting the final boss, and our la- your last words are hot mode. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna like look up, oh, you're no. gonna look up, and kind of do that glare. <laughs> At the final boss, you say "hot mode." And you're, no one, no one sees it, but I'm, but <laughs> Chip is Chip is obviously disappointed that "hot mode" is now the word that just came to him in the oh, moment, so and now just, it's so he just, just, just got established as "hot mode." That's so fucking funny. Now, so you can change the command word every long rest, okay? Okay. But for okay. right now, it's "hot mode." When I ignite, I say "hot mode," "hot mode." I turn on my sword. And it will, uh, it will cut through the magical darkness. So it is bright light for forty in a forty foot radius, and dim light within an additional forty feet. The moment you ignite the flames, and you can see within forty feet around you, that's enough to cover most of this interior. And at your feet, see Rufus lying face first, and then you hear whispering into your ear. He will pay for what you did to price. And then you feel a <laughs> stab right into your chest. Oh. It erupts from your chest, from your back. You take 13 points of piercing damage. An additional 12 points of necrotic damage. If you whip around to see, uh, or to, to, to turn around, the sword retracts from your chest, you whip around, and it's just this block of darkness. But as soon as you whip around with the, with the, uh, with the swords, it completely dissipates it, but there's no one behind you. Pull out game crazy. What the hell? Pull out game. And at, <laughs> first it was like this, uh, at first it was like a five foot cube of darkness, but when you hover the, bla- the blades of flame over it, that darkness disappears as soon as you turn around. And so does the figure. Oh shit, it's a ghost. Leave me alone. No ghosts. I start waving the flames and I want to l- look around for a, a, a being Easy enough. I mean, as soon as you whip around, you see standing with one foot on Rufus's back, now lying in a pool of crimson. You see, holding the shadow blade, the drow that ambushed you and, and Earl. And they say, I'm going to make you suffer. Oh, not a ghost. Just a dickhead. I crack my neck. All right, let's test these out. And I want to run over towards the wall, launch myself off towards them with both of my swords slashing at their chest. All right, it's a 25 to hit. All right, that that definitely hits. 1d6 plus 3, that's 5, plus 2d6, that's 5, plus 9, so 14. Nice. 14 plus 66, 16. 30. I rolled really low, so... 30. Bam! Holy fuck! As I slash across, <laughs> and I kind of do a little tuck and roll. You slash across, you now both have just traded blows. Uh, the blood splatters across the interior of the Divine Barkness, and you still see uh, Rufus just sort of lying there, unconscious, incapacitated at the moment. And then I say, Is that all you got? 
Well, wait till my next action. <laughs> you fucking metagamers. Sorry, 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 sorry. I wanted me to do five. <laughs> next time I'll take two attacks. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Let me... What's what's the area? Is there any windows like into the divine darkness here, or like not, not from the back here? No. Okay. Um, and I can still see Gillian, who just got hit fucking twice, and is just taking these hits without his armor because he doesn't know how to dodge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rub it in. Yeah. <laughs> True though. Very facts. Kenta and Gillian are about like right next to the entrance to the Divine Barkness now, so you can just barely see, like, the hands of them. Yeah. You see me adjust so that I only get the scratches in the cool places to get scratches. <laughs> <laughs> like, across the chest. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about. A third thing. I don't think it's been an hour since I used my second charge of the fly. Your, your wings are, are, are able to be used. Okay. Can I just... Fly up with this lady <laughs> while she's Dude, trying to grapple me. Fucking powerball this bitch, bro. <laughs> well, grapple? No, your speed becomes zero no matter what. So you have Damn to be it. ungrappled okay. to make uh, Oh, man. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. The amount of people I've helped since I've become a pirate? A lot more. I'm going to headbutt her <laughs> and try to break the grapple. It's more like a dexterity thing, I guess. I'm not actually yeah. trying to hurt you. Okay. So I'm going to roll athletics, I guess. Natural natural. 22. One. Oh, All right. shit. <laughs> you knock her back. Sorry. Damn it, I always fall for that. <laughs> okay, friends need help. I'm gonna duck down and like try to run. <laughs> I'll take the she can take her attack opportunity. Cause Jay <laughs> Please don't make this difficult. I don't wanna hurt you. Troll's a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, okay, she doesn't wanna hurt me. Uh... My ass. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's funny if I like break line of sight and then she just hears a, a a window shattering in the distance. Apologies in advance. Yeah, sure this is gonna hurt. You take 28 radiant damage. <gasps> As you hear the magical gunfire shot, almost like a like a small laser cannon from the weapon they're holding. This as it shoots through your shoulder, but you continue to run, and it burns oh, what the and fuck? sears. She actually shot me. <laughs> it burns, oh my God, it burns like you've been shot it. by light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my job, Jay. Come back. And then yeah, she hears the shattering of a window. <laughs> <laughs> As you run across, as you run around, you notice that on top of roofs in the crevices of buildings, you see soldiers have just all come oh, together God. in these like like platoons now, um, arriving or showing themselves previously hidden on the scene. You crash through the window with your movement. You see on Rufus's desk there is Gillian's armor. You still working on it? Okay, there's no I way just to put this on. Then. And I can put it on, Jay. <laughs> Wait a minute, no. Maybe I can finish working. Is it like almost in a state of complete? That's <laughs> insane, <laughs> bro. That's, That's crazy. Insane. Dude, there's no way Rufus didn't put like a command word on it. And when you say the command word, it flies at you like Iron Man. <laughs> it does. Dude, dude, you're going to put the stupidest fucking command word on it. I'm going to need to say it. <laughs> just, just say, just say strong mode. <laughs> no, we're not doing this. <laughs> Do it. To finish a magic item. This would be a really cool thing for an artificer, but the check, yeah. whatever I, whatever it is, is going to be a disadvantage for sure because of the pressure. Yeah, that's fair. And the rush, like the rushing in this of it, because this usually takes longer than... Yeah, you know, is there like any armor that's easier to put on that doesn't take 10 minutes to put on uh, around here? I'm sure Rufus wouldn't mind. Listen, man, <laughs> all, don't, don't, don't worry about me, okay? If you give me armor, I can't tear off my shirt like Dragon Ball Z. So like, <laughs> you know, do... Yeah, but like, <laughs> do what you're you gonna know, do. it's just... It's just dicey. It's just dicey, and you're gonna die. Listen, man, I'm living for it right now. So do do whatever do whatever you're gonna do. Well, Jay's gonna go with her original plan. Yeah, uh, and that is my turn, though. I think because I don't think I can do anything else this turn. Yeah, you use your action and stuff. It'll, yeah. It will definitely be an action to try and work on this. Um, how close is Ollie to this uh, motherfucker? Within five feet of you now. No, no, no. Is Ollie within five feet of this catboy? Of you and the catboy? Yes. He goes, hey, hey, Gil. What do I do? Listen. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna run back to the ship and tell them that everyone's in danger. And then you, and I point at the stupid cat, are gonna have an opportunity to attack, but I want you to, you're not gonna do it. Cause this is the small boy we keep on the ship and that's not what we fucking do around here, okay? And I look him in the eyes. What, what is his vibe? Like, what's his vibe? He looks at you, mouth drooling like a hunter, staring at prey. Usually I prefer dessert. After the main fish. <laughs> and Ollie goes, Aye, aye, Captain! 
and then runs off. Okay, and he does not break your eye contact. Oh, sweet! I was worried I was going to need to use a, use a spell or something. But I can save it all for you. And I want to... Uh, I just, I want to tear my fucking shirt off. <laughs> I want to fully tear my shirt off. And I want to drop it into the wind, go fucking flying into the ocean. And I want to uh, use my object interaction to take something out of the bag. And I want to put the Helm of Dread on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll let you do it. This is the helm I put on when I no longer need to be Gillian Tidestrider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. This is the helm I put on. When I'm going to cut off your fucking hands, <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that whatever nightmares you walk out of here with are going to be far worse than mine. And I'm going to go and uh, eat him. No. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to fucking go for it, dude, with Destiny's Blade. He smiles, that, that fucking devilish smile that creeps up to the corners of the eye. He says, <sighs> I'm starving for pain. I want to actually target his arm. Like, I want to try and cut his hand off, unironically. I think that's a disadvantage in normal ruse, yeah? Yeah, Rules, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. Bro. Holy shit! Okay, and fuck! A natural 20 and an 11. So, <laughs> I got a... Okay, I got a 20 to hit, though. A 20 to hit. A 20 does hit. Okay, sick. I'm certainly going to smite this. Do I get the vibe that he's, um... Dare I say, undead or fiendish, perhaps? He seemed a little fiendish to me when he was... <laughs> smiling and you were describing him. I want a divine smite. And it does extra to fiends and undead, so I want to know. It, uh, it will do the extra damage, yes. Oh my Ooh. god! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm smiting him at fourth level, baby! I'm gonna kill this guy as fast as I possibly can! That is gonna be 32 damage to his... Does he seem like a lefty or a righty? He seems ambidextrous. He seems ambidextrous?! Okay, <laughs> left, right, left, right, left. You didn't mean you might fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna go for the right one. <laughs> so I go and I, I fucking sweep the sword in front of me in an arc, uh, and I connect with his arm and pull it back, and I go for another one at disadvantage. Okay, yeah, you see you see your blade gets embedded into his wrist, his wrist, but he doesn't stop smiling, and even though it is dangling, it's still attached. I see that this wrist is much more jacked than the other one. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. And I get a... Holy shit, a 25 with disadvantage, boys! All right, Let's roll fucking on, go. Roll more damage. Hey, hands up. I'm doing another fourth level smite. Fuck this guy so hard. So that did another 19 plus... 32, 32 again. <laughs> so 32 again. Okay, 32 damage again. So 64 damage total with those two attacks. What the fuck? Why is this even possible, bro? <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me! <laughs> so you cleave right through the wrist, and the hand plops right off in this gruesome, gory uh, uh, display, and lands right in front oh, of you. Oh no! I want to grab that shit, dude. I want to grab that shit as it's coming off, as it fucking flies through the air. Can I? Can I grab that shit? You grab the hand, and then what? Would you say it's a melee weapon? It's a hand. Cause you scratch him with it. Now you, now you feel me. My you can brother. try. I'm gonna try. Um, you know, I had some pretty bad nightmares recently myself. The, the crazy part of them was you weren't in them. Because the nightmare was I'd never be able to do that. And then with my bonus action, I am going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself as I uh, hold one hand up and this gauntlet of frost begins to appear and encase my body uh, in this spectral frost-like armor. Come on, hit me with the other one. You notice that even though your attacks as strong and as damaging as they are. Oh God, what? He seems unbothered and even more excited as his hair begins to stand. And he lets out this loud, horrifying roar. And at this point, you hear the sounds of maybe like a hundred or so guns all like sort of load themselves. Oh no! Oh, shit! Oh fuck! I and forgot about that! The Vice Admiral yells, FIRE! And uh, they just kind of unload on Gillian, because that's all they can see. Shit! Fuck, guys! Fuck! Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> well, Yo. 
All right, so you take 20 Yo. points of piercing damage. Whoa, I guess hang on. What, 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 cash what, what, money. Wait, hang on. What they roll to hit? What was it to hit? What was it to hit? Is it's not a roll to hit. They have to roll above a 15 for all of them to hit. And normally it would be spread out against three people that were out here, but it's just you. So the armor of Agathis pops up on me. I immediately get riddled with bullets from every single direction <laughs> by a firing squad. Um, and I guess I fall down like Peter and Family Guy, and the armor just <laughs> melts off me, and then I get back up. Because um, the armor was 20 health, and that was 20 damage. So great. I, I'm glad I used the, all that. Um, <laughs> I hope those are muskets. Maybe they'll take like two minutes to reload. What you would notice is that while the the actual, like, mechanisms of the gun, you know, when they're, like, loading, like, you know, or I guess cranking the hammer, I don't know what to call it, but yeah. the actual fires, them, the actual firing themselves seemed magically silenced. Oh. Well, this is all a very bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, within inside the interior chamber, Jay, you hear Kira say, Jay, are you in there? God damn it. <laughs> I don't really want to, um, uh, damage this business. Could you come out, please? <laughs> I'm safe as long as I'm within the business. Gillian, that's the secret! All right, I'm coming what in! What is Jay? What is the secret? <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> she steps in, and she's just sort of like, her presence, she's not looming over you physically, but her presence is noticeable. You can tell she's here following her orders, and she just says, mm -hmm. Come on, Jay. What's going on? You know, I really don't want to fight you right now, Kira. Well, tell me why you're doing this thing. She kind of freezes up. Uh. Because if you don't give me something, I'm going to arrest you. And if you get arrested, there's not much hope for you. Look, I know you, Jay. So I want to believe in you, but... Remember what we talked about in training camp? About, uh, spreading good in the world? I mean, vaguely, yeah, but... Well, I don't think the Navy's capable. So oh. I took my own path. <laughs> <laughs> sure, they're, you know, they're pretty intense, but... I mean, this is what we were taught. I just say roll persuasion because... Yeah, I oh, mean, my it's, worst one. It's not. Five. It's not. It's not quite. <laughs> yeah. Five makes sense because it, it's. It's quite. It's not quite really explaining much. It's just sort of. Yeah, it's not. She's. She's kind of panicked right now because she's like, torn for three between figuring out how to help Gillian and the fucking. I'm not gonna fight you, but I am gonna run away from you. God, fuck, Jay. I'll be back. Oh, fuck. She like leaves the room, and she oh, awesome. sees Gillian and. Uh, Kenta in this sort of um, clash. <laughs> Got your hand! <laughs> <laughs> you will not believe what I was going to do next year. <laughs> she rushes back around the corner. She goes, uh, Vice Admiral, do you need assistance? In mid-combat with Gillian, he goes, It does seem I could use an extra hand. Oh, oh, so you're a coward then, too! <laughs> Go follow the small boy. Find the rest of their crew. All right, and um, she sort of like uh, the horn. I, I guess you would probably notice this now, but it shines this bright light against the glow. Um, and Kubakinta and Kira begin to float with these sort of like. It's almost sort of like. Where the fuck are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 what the no, hell? no, no. It's almost you like floating away. It's, it's like the flog, the clouds on the floor begin to sort of collect in these in these white sort of puff balls and they gather oh. around their feet. I thought and I just watched. <laughs> at this point, um, she takes off uh, after where the direction that Ollie ran. Hey, don't do that. That's bad. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> All right, Chip. Uh, go ahead and, and roll uh, next next in round here. Go ahead and roll dexterity. I rolled a three. Ten. <laughs> because they rolled higher than you, they're going to go first this round. Straight up, you just feel this sort of, like, bloodlusted, like, vengeful intent. They go to strike. It's a 17 to hit. Does it hit? 17 will hit me, yes. Okay, you take seven points of slashing damage. So that gets half. That's not so bad, man. There you go. 19 more points of necrotic damage. Oh. Mm. 
Nineteen month hike. What? I can't hide. I can't. Bro, hide. move your veins. Move your skin, bro. I'm candy dodge with your veins. It do say just attack. It doesn't say any kind of damage. When you get hit with the attack, you can use a reaction to have the attack damage against you. This this attack's damage is all in one. You can just have the total damage. So that's like twelve. Okay. They go for a second strike. Okay, twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. I, I say stab me, I go, is that all you got? And then they stab me again. 12 necrotic damage and 10 piercing that time. Okay. So 22 damage total. And they, as they strike into you, they swipe across your chest and then they swipe across your collarbones and they say, you have caused them nothing but pain. You will die here along with all of your friends. And then they, and then they like spin around that shadow blade and you wonder, you say, how do they have this blade back when it was on your ship? Yeah, that's what I've been wondering this entire time. As I get slashed in the collarbone, I want to, like, collapse to the ground like I'm in pain uh, and just say, Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I just... And I want to, like, very stealthily put... Okay, I never took off the bracelets. I have the bracelets, right? You have the one that gets your mind red. Jay is wearing the one that reads your mind. What the (laughs) fuck? Shit! God damn it! That was going to be so good! Then I wreck on everything I just fucking said, because that's stupid. Well, except we hear it all because Jay hears it in her mind. <laughs> the, the last thing that I remember is she went to sleep watching your dreams when before yeah, you Yeah, that is the last. Oh, you you could have oh, asked me for that no. thing back anytime. Wait, no, but now Jay knows that he wants it because she just read his mind. Got it, guys. We figured it out. Hold your action. <laughs> I have no idea what the plan is. But while, while, you, I mean, while you guys are basically dancing around, Rufus is bleeding out body yeah i know man oh I wait bro is bl- oh shit oh god i don't even know yeah. oh fuck i don't even know what's in there oh god as i'm getting slashed in the collarbones and taking one billion damage <laughs> i kind of like jump away uh and go hey but you uh you want him you want him fixed right i can i know how i will never trust you what and you trust the navy you think they're gonna save him they don't care about you, and they don't care about him. I have no involvement with what happens outside these walls. You will fix this with your life. Returning you back to price is nothing but a risk. I'm here to take what is ours, and that is revenge. Look, price is gone without me. If I don't fix it, nobody can. The only other person is actually bleeding out right there, and he's not going to help you if you kill me. I'm not asking you to trust me, it's a trade here. I get something out of this too. Our time for trading fairly has passed. I could find a million other ways to help him. Why haven't you? They go silent for a second. You have a price to pay. It's time you learn your actions have consequences. No, no, No. don't do this. He had to learn someday. When will you learn? All right, fuck it. It's a 21 to hit on the first one. And on the second one, it's a 24 to hit. Yeah, yeah, they both hit. So 50 total damage. And then I, with my fancy footwork, <laughs> stab and then I run away. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that adds. <laughs> Where are you running? Out the back through the office. As far as I can get, I'll jump out a fucking window. You slash them twice. And you notice that Despite the fact that you are both heavily injured, their breathing is heavy and their grip is weak. And as soon as you start to bolt away, they say, Why are you running, coward? Do you leave this fight before its natural end? And I will kill him. And slowly, slightly, oh. they sink their blade into Rufus. Oh, come on! I stop at the door. And I walk in like a sad eight-year-old with my (laughs) arms down. And I drag my fucking flamey swords. And I go, (laughs) fine. And I hide as far away from this person as humanly fucking possible. But I don't leave the goddamn room. (laughs) Fine, I'm gonna stay in the room, but you gotta come over here and find me. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, bro. My first three plans just straight up didn't work, so whatever. It's just so funny that you walked back in the room after she said you were gonna kill her friend, and then, like, with a new determination, you hid somewhere in the room. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even hide. It's just like, it's just so fucking funny to me, dude. Jay, it is your turn. 
Yeah, so here's what actually happens. I'm thinking really hard about what's <laughs> happening right now. And the other bracelet. I'm in the back of your head like, yo, 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 If yo, only I yo. had the other bracelet! Damn! If only I had the other bracelet! If Chip only the other the bracelet was here! <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is what happens. You you start running out of the door, then you turn around slowly and you're two gunshots right now. Because <laughs> I'm absolutely shitting this motherfucker. Um, but not before a little, a little coin slides down under their foot and attaches them and I cast, uh, Hunter's Mark. Anyways, 25. And 19. Both hit. 30 plus 2d6. That's only 2. 32. That's a very unique number today. 32 Three times. damage? 32 damage, yes. <laughs> it's like, as I unload into into this fucking drow. How do you want to do this, Jay? Hey! <laughs> let's go! Let me help. <laughs> yeah, let's... Here, yeah, let's... Can we do a team attack? You sure can. Oh my god, we mind link. We Ooh. mind link, yes! Okay. That's so cool. They say, if you leave now, I will kill him. And then you hear a gunshot ring from across the fucking room, and it strikes them in the back of their knee, and they fall down to one knee. And I just yell out, Chip, now! I fix my posture <laughs> from being a sad little fucking baby, and I run up, do like a backflip kick to the underside of, of their jaw. Oh. And it's that fucking... <laughs> They go flying back, and I land, and I go, Thank God! I was really falling flat there, Jay. No, I think you were doing fine. Yeah, but like, I was, I was trying to run away, and they said, Oh, if you run away, I'm gonna stab Rufus, and I was like, Damn! Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know, man, you just gotta have like a little more confidence in yourself sometimes. I know, I'm You have two swords, they had, they had one. <laughs> uh, you're right, you're right, yeah, I do you, have two by, swords. By I do have two swords. pure numbers, you won that. you have a gun, that's like, that thing about yeah. so many bullets. Oh well, yeah, it just makes its own bullets. Okay, <laughs> who who deals the final strike here? Yeah, I will. I'll turn over to them and run straight for them and plunge my swords through their chest, <laughs> oh my God. them against the wall. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Chip, as you do this, as your blades begin to sever their tether to life, they stare daggers into you, and with their final breaths, they say, <laughs> "You." have ruined this world. Without him, they will have all the power. <laughs> you will regret this. Bastard. And then they die. <laughs> yeah, Jay's, Jay's taken aback a little bit, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just pull the swords out. And then we hear outside. <laughs> no, I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> no, I'm going to eat you! No, I'm gonna eat you! Not if I eat you first! After that unknown person that you have never seen with the horn cast some yeah. sort of spell, and the clouds collect at Kenta's feet, he begins to gently lift off the ground, and then he tries to grapple you with his other hand. Oh! <laughs> oh no! That is a 20 you need to beat. I got a 21. Woo! Alright! I just fucking do that thing, you know, I like grab his hand and I do that thing where you like twist it off and like hold it out. So you grab the hand, you twist it out, you are just besting his strength. You you finally realize this is his non-dominant hand, he really wasn't ambidextrous. <laughs> <gasps> I got you, bitch! And then you see the saliva seeping off the sharp teeth as he goes to bite your neck. No, you weren't kidding! <laughs> oh no! Fuck! I got an 11! Natural 20! Oh! oh my fucking god! Please stop. <laughs> that happened. I'm using, I'm using the official D&D dice. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, like, the so D&D officially <laughs> wants me dead. <laughs> <laughs> You don't take any damage, but you are immediately, like, tensed up and restrained. You're grappled at this moment. Okay, okay, And yeah. then, the two of you rocket 300 feet into the air. 300 what? feet?! Holy shit! Gone. You break the clouds, and you can only see them beneath your feet as you are painfully grappled by his teeth. And he says with you in his in his grasp, I always make sure to tenderize your meat before you eat it. <laughs> what, are you saying something, man? Hard to hear you with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> now it is your turn, Gillian. What do you do? I pull out the Avor de Poi anchor. <laughs> 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 
which is an item I bought uh, at Rufus's shop that I will now read you the description to. <laughs> While touching oh the God. anchor, you may use an action to speak a command phrase and change its weight. The anchor can be transformed to weigh as little as one pound, <laughs> as much as 10,000 pounds, or any weight in between. I hold out the anchor, and he's grabbing me, right? Yeah, his entire maw is just sunken into your, like, trapezius area. You are definitely grappled. Pull out the anchor, and I put it directly above his head, and I say, It's rude to talk with your mouth full. 10,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe the most psycho shit I've ever done, dude. I have to roll to see if he even holds the grapple on you. He rolled a natural 20 to keep your grapple, keep his grapple. That's kind of awesome, though. <laughs> so I'm down. It definitely becomes 10,000 pounds on both of you. I'll even say because I don't think it changes its size, just its weight. You can put it, like, in his jacket or something to make sure that, it, like... The yeah, well, basically what I wanted to do is if he's grabbing me, I essentially wanted to, like, position myself so that I could, like, fucking, you know what I mean? Like, pile drive him from 300 feet instead of him pile driving me. It's like, I, I still want to be, I guess, falling with him if I'm grabbed by him. So, he definitely cannot pass the weight of the anchor. I'll say it's kind of attached to him at so the moment. So he's falling. Yeah. So you're both falling because he did succeed to keep you grappled in his grasp. I'm going to see if I have anything here that is remotely helpful. You're going to fall. It's not going to happen in one turn. <laughs> but you're, 300 but, feet. You're going to fall pretty fast. Hold on. You fall 500 feet in a round, actually. Oh, so uh -oh. I will hit the ground this turn. Um, next turn. Next round. Is there anything? There's nothing in the fucking sky around us, right? We're in the sky. Nothing but the moon. Mommy, help. <laughs> um, you know the crazy thing about nightmares, Kuba? They keep getting worse. And I want to quicken spell enlarge, and the anchor's weight multiplies by eight. <laughs> 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 80,000 you're gonna destroy pounds. this is like a meteor hitting the fucking city yeah, dude. yeah dude this is gonna go through the golden circle market probably oh, oh my god actually I will roll for it because the, the city isn't the city is enchanted so we will see but and I, we're I'm never gonna be allowed back in all port <laughs> and I'm looking in the eyes and I'm saying nightmare 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 you're a fucking nutcase bro he's just chewing on you he's just really trying to <laughs> he's just like a little cat with like a chew toy <laughs> oh my god I mean you can feel he's enjoying this fuck why do you like this <laughs> holy shit oh. <laughs> this is 80,000 pounds <laughs> you are definitely taking some of this damage, dude. 300 feet in the air! What I just want you to know. It's 40 tons. It's like a fully packed 18 wheeler. <laughs> That's what 80,000 pounds is? Yeah, like a fully packed 18 wheeler coming in at him at 300 feet in the air, sending him into the earth. Oh. Dude, that is 16 <laughs> Ford F 150s. My oh God. God. It's like getting ran right over by 16 <laughs> Ford F 150s. That is 16 Holy Ford F 150s. I look in the eyes and I say, You are not built for tough. This is the most insane thing ever. The crazy, we gotta thing, do something. the crazy thing is that he was just going to drop you. And that was it, bro. You might have fell in like a few, like a, like a two yeah, rounds, but that, maybe. But that would have hurt. This is going to hurt more! <laughs> okay, so Chip, you're the only one who sees this. Actually, no, none of you would see it because you're still in Divine Barkinist and dealing inside, as far yes. the sky. What you hear is a crash outside of the Divine Barkinist, followed by an even, like, an even larger crash. Like an explosion uh, uh, hits Allport. Um, because something happens on Kira's turn and then Kuba and yeah. Gillian hit the ground. As you guys are falling, and right before you hit the, the, the ground, giving... Yeah, I grab onto him one more time, and then I let go, and I kind of feel it. Huh. That is really soft! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I <hit> the ground. <laughs> yeah, I told you! You hear... <laughs> I will be back. What? So I rolled 18 d10. Oh. You both take 110 damage. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
as you splatter on the ground. Oh. This um, is a system shock table moment for sure. So go oh, ahead and roll a concept. Oh. oh my god. I got a 14. Now, can I know before I use something that lets me improve this, what's on the system shock table? Or is that a fun surprise that I just need to find <laughs> out? I just want to know if it's like you get a bad headache or like your legs fall <laughs> off. Like, what are we working with? Um, There's the D21 and there's the D100 one. Which one do you want? Because the D21, it's like you can lose, you can have a limp, like you can, your speed gets reduced. You can have broken ribs, you can get a horrible scar. Oh man, a horrible scar sounds really cool though. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so cool, bad, cool, bad, 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 bad. Oh. There are two cool ones, and that is <laughs> that, that, that is it. In that case, uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use favored by the gods as I look up towards my lunar mommy, who is now seeing me uh, plummet towards the ground at terminal velocity, and uh, bring that up to a twenty. System shock is actually a completely different one. I was talking about the injuries, but you do oh. you do you do pass the con save, and you don't have system shock. I just are we do we crash through the floor? Or do we like where do we go? Interestingly enough, this is 100% enough for you to crash basically through this level and down into the docks level where the ships are, where your ship is. Oh my god. Now, I would say, how do you want to do this? But there is no other way to do this. Vice Admiral Kubakenta dies on impact. He hits the ground before Gillian and his bones. He turns to jello. Yeah, I wish we had more time to fall. I would have loved to talk to him more. Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I know why you're here. You're wondering, have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, we can fool Santa, but you can't fool me. Or your internet provider. I and your internet provider see everything that you're doing naughtily at night this year. But you know what? I have a gift for you. This holiday season, I'll give you your privacy. With this episode's sponsor, ExpressVPN, that's right! Guess what? When you go incognito on Google, you're not actually being private. I, and your internet provider, can see everything that you click on and every website you go to, you naughty little cretin! But, with ExpressVPN, all your traffic gets encrypted and rerouted to a server that is encrypted and triple encrypted! All of your browsing activity stays between you, me, and all the gods of the Forgotten Realms! And Express ExpressVPN has apps that work on all devices, so whether on your phone, laptop, tablet, fridge, toilet, whatever, you're protected. Man, I wish everything was that easy. Best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button to turn it on, and you're protected! Yeah! So take yourself off the naughty list and my list with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash jrwi and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash J-R-W-I. ExpressVPN.com slash J-R-W-I. Hey, wait, where are you going? Ah, get over here. We got another sponsor for this episode. This episode is also sponsored by Honey, baby! I love shopping online, but I don't ever have a promo code ready at checkout. And thanks to Honey, I don't even have to worry about it. I just bought a little table mirror so that I could draw using my own hand as a reference. And I saved like five bucks! Honey made it so easy! As you should know by now, Honey works on PC and iPhone, so you can save at home or on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you're missing out on these sick deals, so just get it! You'll be supporting your impulsive financial decisions, and more importantly, this show! So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That's joinhoney.com slash jrwi. So, I think it's so funny, like, I'm just in this, in the Divine Barkinist with Jay, and I get told these, they, these horrible things, and I have this look on my face, I look over at Jay. Jay, do you think I've done something wrong? <laughs> 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 oh god! Chip, it is, it is your turn now. What is, what are, from our perspective... <laughs> where do you go? Do you run? Time. What do you do? What, what, from our perspective... What just ha- like, what do we see? Okay. Is a hole? Can a big I, hole? Can I please lock eyes with them as time slows down for just a second and just like, give them a little wave? <laughs> this is the next freeze frame as we look outside the door and we see Gillian plummeting with Koopa Kanda. I look at- I look at Chip and I look down at the cat and I look up at Chip and I give him a thumbs up and then I fucking fall through the ground at a thousand miles an hour. 
I'll just, I think before I do anything, I'll open the door and like look out. Okay, you rushed sure. over, use your movement, you open the door. And that's when you see in that slow motion, the little wave, the thumbs up from Gillian, <laughs> plummeting from God knows how high. <laughs> oh, and then you would notice, you. just with passive investigation, wherever Akuba land, landed from however far he leaped to ambush, there was no crater. I mean, there's a little bit of splintering, but no, not a lot of damage to the city. This, however, as soon as they impact, straight through. And then you look to your left and you see sort of, uh, just barely standing up from some sort of blow, a, a, a soldier you've never seen before, who has been screaming out at Jay this whole time. You can vaguely hear it muffled. And then you see a little bit down the road, smoke silhouettes of friends you recognize. I open up the door, I close the door, I look back at Jay. There's a lot going on out there. Yeah. You go help Gillian. I'm gonna I'm gonna help Rufus. Okay. Uh hey, we'll, can we'll I talk about those this from later. <laughs> I, like motion at the dead body. Potion? Oh yeah. Please? Can I toss him like it's a free object interaction? Toss him a potion? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I pop it open, I start chugging and I run it <laughs> down. Go in, I'm coming! <laughs> I'm uh, choking this down. All right, you rush out the door. You rush past the hole. I want to run to Gillian, who's in the hole. Looking down the hole, it is way too far of a drop for you to jump <laughs> in, but it does lead right into water, and you do not see them. You just see sort of like the remnants of the waves, like a giant splash just occurred, like they landed into the ocean. If it's water, I could jump in. It's like Minecraft. I just <laughs> fall into the water. <laughs> it's like Minecraft. <laughs> Or, 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 maybe, I mean, can we talk about this? I that mean, if they're in so water. That is so fucking funny, dude. I say you can roll enough to take damage. Act it bad. can't be like the real world. It has to be like Minecraft. It just, I do, I pencil it. it. I pencil be. my shit. I pencil it. Acrobatics? Okay. Natural 20. Oh my shit. Um, I, I, I run up. I'm coming, Gillian. I flip the, the potion behind my head. <laughs> I go. <laughs> I, run, I st take a couple of steps back. And I run forward, I do a little jump off the top. I do the thing where I like touch my toes to my ha my hands and then I <laughs> dive straight Holy down. Shit. As you are running, you hear the shh, 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 shh oh. and then the silence do, 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 as uh, you are getting shot at before as you're running towards the hole and diving in. Oh, he rolled the natural 20 acrobatics, right? <laughs> I did, but I got, but that's for, that's just for not taking damage from the fucking dive. The, the captain who is like, uh, like, uh, cradling some sort of, you know, bruise of a blow, uh, yells out, looks around, doesn't see Vice Admiral Koopa Kinta, just says, FIRE! Uh, and they begin to shoot as you run out. I'm dashing, so I'm going fast as fuck. 60 feet. Okay, so they are going to shoot both at you and the crew down the road. Oh, God. So you take 15 points of damage. And you do your die if you successfully hit the water as well. I am looking for one Gillian Tide Strider. You see sort of mangled and, 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 and dented, both still kind of clutched by broken teeth of Koopa Kinta as they're sinking into the depths of the sea here. Neither moving. I see both of them? Yeah. I, I want to try and, like, I, don't, I can't do it yet, but, like, I'm definitely going to try and grab both of them and swim up. In that case, Ollie bursts down the door and says, <laughs> Miss Jay! What's happening? I got them. We're all here. <laughs> oh God! I, what's happening? Um, real fast. No. <laughs> he rushes out. It's gonna be too. okay. Can you uh? Can you give him? I'm gonna hand a potion to Ollie because I want to use my <laughs> my turn to heal Rufus. That's <laughs> so <laughs> fucking hype. <laughs> Imagine having a crew. So your crew will be uh using their turn yes. to to aid. And then uh, <laughs> so Jay gave. <laughs> The potion to Chip, because Chip doesn't have a way to heal Gillian. Word. <laughs> and then Chip downed it in oh, front of shit. her. Well, <laughs> I want. I was, I needed it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, back up. I, I think I just spaced out with what you just said. What? <laughs> so I drank the potion that was meant for Gillian. Because <laughs> <laughs> Chip can't <laughs> heal. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Because I was gonna die. Because Jay read the situation as like, go help Gillian. Here's That's a potion so to bring him back. And he drank it. I was parched. <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys be okay up here for a bit? Um, yeah, I can. I can pick him up and bring him to the ship. Okay. Uh, be careful. There are 
soldiers on the roof shooting, shooting at, us. at us. I know. <laughs> uh, he just looks at you and goes, um, uh, I'm scared. I just stand here for now. I think that might be the play. I don't want to like doom you guys. You are the so. captain. You must set, you must make the choice. Oh, he's God. looking at you. He's pleading. He he looks he looks worried. He looks scared. He has no idea what to do. He's looking to you at you for direction. He does start to give the potion to, to Rufus. Um, who else is in the room? Is it everybody? No, they are not. It's just a you, Ollie, and Rufus. Then here's what I'm gonna do. He takes the potion and, and gives it to Rufus. Okay, Ollie. You're gonna get out of here, okay? And I'm gonna cast after you get Rufus up, you take him to the ship, okay? And I'm going to cast Invisibility uh, level uh, third level on Whoa. both Rufus and, <laughs> and Ollie. So Wait, fucking can you cool. cast it on both of them, though? With yeah, third it's level, uh, I think so. with third level. So oh, going up a okay, level six, does make it on both. So All that right. is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so fucking cool. I give him like a little pin that kind of like coats his body and also Rufus's body um, in this sort of like transparent it, it almost like diffracts light as it goes through so he looks very translucent okay run back to the ship they shouldn't be able to see you okay i'm gonna go get gillian and ship i'm also gonna run out and jump into the water <laughs> oh my god he goes i got you. and he picks up uh rufus and starts to rush out as you rush out though they are still shooting but they do not hit you <laughs> the you see both alphonse Griffin. Yeah, just Alphonse and Griffin. I'd like to signal them to head back to the ship, like, somehow. Alright, so, that, easy enough, we'll just exit at them. That's probably kind of what yeah. they're looking for. And you would dive in, roll your acrobatics check to see if you take damage or not. Featherfall isn't concentration. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> so works too. I'm gonna featherfall myself. So you'll just fall, you'll just gently dive in. What, what kind of dive are you going for? Oh, uh, yeah, so since my falling kind of gets slowed, I do, like, uh, Dude, six times backflip. So many. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. 40, 96 kind of rotation. Uh, backflip again. And then I like, I, I finish it with a backflip into the perfect dive. It's really awesome. Okay, uh, wait, acrobatics wait, wait, check anyways. I feel anyways. like if you perfect dive and zero G, I feel like you'd have a chance to just kind of keep spinning. So I feel like we need to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I rolled a 13 on my acrobatics check to do any of that. Uh, a little well. <laughs> <laughs> with 60 feet per second or like per round. Like a leaf in a wind tunnel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. zero G. I just slow down my fall. Oh, I see. All right, so you use your action to cast invisibility, and then you use your movement to jump into the water, and you make it. It is a far... And my reaction for Featherfall. How how fast do you fall with Featherfall? Uh, 60 feet. It's a far I would drop. probably I would probably wait until I'm closer to the water to cast it. If, oh. like, if Chip can get down there in one round, then... Probably I could too, maybe, question mark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, next round you'll definitely be in the water for sure. Yeah. Regardless of how fast you get there. But it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a far drop. I mean, it's, it's further than 60 feet. It's probably further than 90 feet. The height the height difference between the first level and the second level is just it is yeah. much more than it seems. I'd probably time it that halfway down. I'd probably activate for the fall. Yeah, regardless, uh, I'll say that yep. you can get there on the next. That's your turn. Gillian, roll it. Yeah, it's safe. He Whoa! I'm the only one that's ever done this on the fucking <laughs> podcast, guys. I rolled a death save when I got pants. That's true, you did get pants 19, that one time. 19. Oh, almost a natural 20. Okay. All right, first success there. I also, I don't want to be this guy to make things more difficult, but I do imagine that swimming up to a guy pinned at the bottom of an 80,000, I guess now it's reduced, 10,000 pound anchor will not be easy, perhaps. Pulling these, these guys up is actually going to be... Yeah. Tough because he never let go of his grapple. You died with him, and <laughs> you guys oh, fucking knocked out. Oh, that's so romantic, out. dude. That's beautiful. All right, Chip. We'll see how this goes. Gillian, just did yours. Rolls his cool die to see if he does a cool die. Similar to Kai, when you were uh, encountering the Jazz Pirates, you feel that blast of wind past your face, Jay, as you were diving into the water, and you mm -hmm. see Kira, like enter the into the water immediately she really loves to make things difficult yeah she just she just zooms past you and zips right into the into the waters and chip probably zips past you with the 30 300 feet of flying aren't i at them though am i at them am i at the folk um, am i at the people i'm at the fish yes but she goes before you and she looks at you and you guys can't talk underwater and she raises an eyebrow <laughs> and then she likes like does the head nod like sup 
And I, I go, I, I, I do the head nod, and I say, I'd like to say sup, and I point at myself, and I start, like, spelling out my name. Like, <laughs> she looks away, and then she looks at both <laughs> Gillian in the jaws of uh, Kuba Kinta, and then she begins to try and pull them up, but uh, doesn't... Let me see if she notices the anchor. Nope. So... <laughs> oh, wait, how big is the anchor? I don't think I'd, I'd know that. I think it's like a palm-sized anchor. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's, eight yeah. Times, it was... it's eight times the no, size no, no, of that no, no, now. I, I went that down, faded, so that the, the spell... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. But it is still 10,000 pounds. That's way scarier than an anchor size. So she doesn't notice it? Like a palm size 10... That's terrifying. Yeah, it is. So she begins to struggle to, like, lift them up, even with her flying speed... Um, and just the sort of golden glowing magical like scales and the horn all just sort of illuminated in here underneath the, the water as you guys are sinking and sinking and it's getting darker and darker the further away you get from the city and the light of the moon and the stars and the lanterns and she just can't pull them up and she looks at you and she nod like sort of gestures to them and asks for your help Chip okay so um, you said with my passive investigation I do notice that they're being pulled down by the anchor right um just roll an investigation check it wasn't very good. It's 12. 12, you don't have special powers with investigation? <laughs> um, wait. I do. You do. I you think. get a 16, yeah. Because you can so only that's roll. A, that's a 16. Okay, uh, that is what you needed to determine that there is the 10,000 pound anchor sort of latched <laughs> onto Kinta's uh, clothing on the inside <laughs> of the Chip coat. know the word to make it stop being no. that? No. <laughs> um, Probably not. <laughs> light mode. <laughs> <laughs> you do notice the anchor you try and move it you realize it is Im it is immovable it is so i mean you can try you can try and roll strength if you want okay uh, <laughs> i'm not gonna, not gonna roll strength it's in his clothes sort of like latched um, on something yeah but because it's gonna, so heavy it's not easily removed i'm gonna take out my sword and use my action to cut off the clothes so it just falls out. I thought it was like inside, like on somebody's back or something. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was pinning us like dragons. Yeah. Yeah. It is pinning you both and pushing you down. I, th I thought you said it was like in his shirt. I think that was mentioned, but not actually done. Oh. The way, so I'm just making it clear to you. The way that this is work is they are basically starfished. Gillian is on the, on the, on the top side, but he is clutched by a tight, like mandible, like jaws. And there on Kuba Kinta, on like, like the chest area where the anchor is, it's like latched on to part of the clothing, but it is resting on his chest. So they are being weighted down by this anchor. If even if you cut the clothes, it's going to rest on his chest and Gillian's going to be stuck in the grasp. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to grab the anchor. I'm going to put my hands on it and I'm going to hold my action to move this anchor when, when another person is also moving the anchor. Okay. Once I get in the water, I wanna, I wanna do something. Well, we'll say that you're able to get in the water now, Jay. So you do hit the water before anything else happens. And you can see now, Kira, Chip, struggling to pull them up. And they're all, all, all four of them are now just continuously sinking. And you have to swim further down. I'd like. Does Kira notice me enter the water? Uh, yeah. And then she sort of points to the anchor that's resting and, and sort of tangled in with like the the clothes. Ship also pointed to it, pointed out to Kira. She points it out to you. Um, well, my first spell is as I hit the water, I'm going to pull out this sort of like, oh, what is the word? It's like frilled, a frilled metallic piece. I'm going to like stab it into my neck and I'm casting Alter Self on myself and it basically gives me gills and enhanced uh, swimming speed. So underwater, it, I mean, we'd still be trying to lift up like 8,600 pounds. Yeah, it's still a lot of weight. All three of you are now assessing the situation. Gillian, go ahead and roll a second death save. That's a nine. Success and a fail. More splashes hit the the surface above. And behind oh, you, Jay, Lord. you notice Griffin and Alphonse swimming behind you. And uh, with Kira, you both are going to try and move because they're going to try and lift it again. So you're going to help them. So I guess they'll roll with advantage. So they're going to try and lift it. They actually roll a 19. The total is 24. No, it's never gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna solve this case by. <laughs> I think really hard in my brain, cause I cause I got the I got the shit on. I think about it. Healing potion. If Gillian were up, it would be it would be awesome. I go. I look over at Jay, and I'm thinking about it. Healing potion. Healing potion. Healing potion. Healing potion. <laughs> I look around at all the water, and I think about liquid spilling out into liquid. <laughs> And I and I and you don't hear it because you can't read my mind. Uh, and I just look at you and I'm like, "Do you have it on your body? If I do, I take it. It would be in my bag." 
I'm reaching your shit. I take it. I'd like to stop him because I have a better idea that's not going to result in wasting a potion. I don't care. I okay. take it anyway. You can't stop me. Because <laughs> it's just going to spill the morning water. I'm going to I'm going to put I'm going to put the potion in his mouth. I'm going to put it in. He's like a little baby. I put it in. And you know what I do? I poke a little hole in the bottom. I crack up a little piece piece and I push it into his mouth. I blow on it. I feel like if we were in the same room, then I would get a bottle and we would have to try this because I like, so I'm like, does this even work? It does. What if the bottle is glass? It is glass. Can you just. Okay, I light my sword and I make it hot and it burns a little hole. I don't know. <laughs> Let me do stuff. What? Bro, I have cure wounds. <laughs> what about what I have? I got a disguise thing. I make myself look like a funny little fucking clown and I dance around and that's what I do. Make yourself look like the Grim Reaper and then take me to heaven. I thought the whole poke was pretty cool, but if it is a glass bottle, you put it in my mouth and then you break it. <laughs> but, I mean, you could, you, could, you could cut a hole in a glass bottle. If I have a knife and I take a glass bottle and I just go like this a couple of times, it'll go get in. A okay, get a glass bottle. <laughs> get, a gl go, yes. get a glass bottle right now. <laughs> this is going to solve this. He's going to share a glass for this. For this. <laughs> Cutting. A D&D turn to six seconds. All right, we're chilling. <laughs> <laughs> All, all this for a point. Any, any, any progress? Any progress? Yeah, I've got this little dot right here. Dude, it is not there. Okay, all right. So now, now, how do you do that in six seconds underwater, uh, bro? While on, sinking in a rapid, <laughs> rapid pace, attached to eight thousand five hundred pounds. Well, it is in I'm someone's mouth. I'm working on it. I can see that. A lot of elbow motion. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, guys. yeah. We can just move on, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I just, at, this, at this point, I just wanted to try. Check with us on just rolled with it to see if I actually got the hole oh in the bottle. Oh my god. I want to give Kira a health potion and the point at Kupakinta. What the fuck? And I'm going to use Cure Wounds on Gillian. And I'm going to point up at her to the fucking sea top. I'm basically trying to signal I want her to leave and then we're going to leave as well. <laughs> and then, yeah, I cast Cure Wounds on Gillian at third level. Uh, for 13 HP. Cool. Can I speak the command word for an anchor underwater? <laughs> <laughs> you can speak underwater, but just after your turn, Jay, uh, you and Chip will have to roll constitution saving throws. I used Alter Self on myself as soon as I got here. Unless you're talking about the pressure of the water, then that's a different story, maybe. That, I mean, that is, but I guess if you're aquatic person, it doesn't really matter. So just yeah. Chip... 18. Okay, then both of you are fine. Well, okay, so Jake's there. You're still in, there. The, in the gaping in the gaping maw of Koopa Kenta. Koopa <laughs> still got me fucking grabbed on. Can I try and get Koopa Kenta's jaw off of me? i will be breaking a grapple. All right, that's what I'm going to try to do. 27. Uh, easy enough. I want to take one of his teeth. It, it's lodged into your skin. <laughs> Sick. Um, and I'm going to leave the fucking anchor on him. And I'm going to like flip him off. And then I'm going to sort of like look around and see like what Chip and Jay and there's this other person underwater. So I immediately fucking draw my sword, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a, a soldier of raft. You draw your sword. I point at them and I go... Uh, <laughs> Dude, I, I hold my sword in front of me and see what she does. She uh, looks at Kinta, who begins to continue to sink much faster than the rest of you, and cannot, for the life of her at all, pull the anchor off and notice that you don't. Yep. So she just sort of shoots back up, um, or begins to to return to the surface. Okay. I give Chip and Jay a thumbs up, and I'm going to grab Chip, because I see that uh, Jay is gilling it right now, and I'm going to start swimming up as well. You grab Chip by the leg, and you see he's working at something. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, shit, yeah, I woke up with a potion bottle fucking halfway down my throat, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I immediately probably spit it out, and you just kept going. <laughs> they head to the surface, all of you do. You get assisted by Griffin and Alphonse, and everybody... Jay doesn't head to the surface. Jay is swimming down to try to catch up to Kubikenta. I'm trying to signal to Gillian to go down and, and get Kubikenta. And I'm also thinking in my mind to Jay, I'm thinking, 
prisoner, 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 prisoner of war, prisoner of I war. I raise an eyebrow and point at Chip's scars and point down at Kuba Kenta and then point at me and then point down again and then make a Dwayne The Rock Johnson eyebrow raise face. I also make the face and I'm looking at Gillian and then I pass out because I've been underwater forever. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna point at you, point up, and then go okay, and then you just immediately faint. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish taking ship up then if he if he's I mean out. You, you wouldn't. It hasn't been multiple minutes, and you can hold your breath for multiple minutes. It has been very little. Oh time. lord, okay, then I start swimming down. Then. Oh fuck it, well I'm coming down too. I guess we're all helping this stupid cat. Well, prisoner, 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 prisoner. I'm thinking it. I'm look. I'm like what are you, swimming what are you down. Mouthing? Hey, I want to be able to canonically talk underwater, and even if the, I'm a fish guy, that makes so much sense. I point down at Kuba Kinta, and then I make like a box and then I, I point at him and box. I go in the box and then a cat in a Schrodinger's cat don't know if he's dead no. or alive gotta no. make sure he's dead gotta kill him no. and I start no, swimming no, down no. prison <laughs> bars I'm making bars yes grab him shake him yeah I mean if I see that Jay is trying to help him I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use the command word um, on the anchor I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna say light mode and then it gets to be one pound again and I'm gonna tuck it away and I guess I'll fucking help with this stupid cat. So the three of you um, remove the anchor, and you slowly but surely bring uh, Kinsa back to the surface. Thank God. And as soon as you're, I was about to just shove some fucking uh, some of those smash browns in my mouth because you let me eat some for a sprank roll earlier. <laughs> <laughs> when you break the surface, all three of you, and including the sort of dangling. Uh, it's mangled. It's just like squished jello, jello like jellified corpse of of uh, Kuba Kenta. But there are soldiers on every single inch and corner of the docks here. Oh. And your face meets Kira. Your crew is on your ship, but there are hundreds of soldiers, soldiers on your ship as well now. And you guys are all in the water. We got your cat. <laughs> she says, Okay, Jay. I have two options. We can keep fighting until our reinforcements show. Jay, these aren't the reinforcements. No, there's a lot of them. All two, um, leave Kinta, Vice Admiral. We'll cease fire. I'll tell them you won. What's it gonna be? I mean, option two, right? I mean, that's kind of... I was already option, go option, option two. two. Oh, come on, let's take, let's take him. Let's just take him, man. Let's kill him right there's here. A there's a hundred fucking people on our ship. We're never going to deal with that. Hey, hey, Chip, so listen, my dad's going to come. I don't want to... No, Chip, I saw what this thing did to you. If you want to say, man, fucking go for it, grab this guy, and go on the warpath, I am all here for you. But Jay, also, I totally get it. This seems like a friend of yours. This is probably super awkward. Well, how about we tell your friend to fuck off, or we kill her like we... we crazy, we're pirates. I, I can hear you. Oh, sorry. We, I mean, the killing thing, it's like a kind of a sidebar. It's really weird that you would do that. <laughs> it's, it's really weird for you to listen. So can we just... Thanks. I um, don't want to make change like this. Okay? With the loss of our vice admiral, I don't have the authority to take command here. So, um, well, this is really the only two options. Yeah, we're, we're working it out. We're working it out. <laughs> uh, I just... Look... We don't have to kill you anybody die right now. What if we just take... No, I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. You can see how many fucking people are around here. Are you stupid? We can take them. Okay, we, we can take them. We can absolutely take them. Listen, we can, I see that... No, even even if I go down, Chip, I know you've been working at that bottle and you are so close. And I know <laughs> if I go down, you'll have that popping down my throat in a second. I'm getting really close on this bottle, um, Jay. And when I get to it, I can heal somebody from maybe like two, three feet away. You are putting the lives of both us and our crew at risk right now for what i'm actually not clear on that either what is it for chip because if we have kubikinta we have leverage no we don't this is the this is the leverage this is the leverage this is what you use the leverage for <laughs> it's chip he's a fucking he's a fucking flapjack chip what the hell are you talking about i don't know i just want to take him prisoner We've never taken a prisoner. No, he did say, okay, I will say, full disclosure, he did say, like, I'll be oh back Oh my god, before. just take him! Kira, <laughs> just take the guy! <laughs> Alright, that's one, that's one out of, that's one out of three. Alright, Chip, back in the huddle. How are we feeling? I... So, so Jay has just gone for... I feel for, like Jay just kind of Jay's just gone for option for B, we still got option A on the table. I think we should fuck him up. 
I really do. But then, like, we don't have, like, a, a backup, and they have backup. No, we don't have reinforcements. Um, But you have a big, like, thing. You can just drop it on it. Yeah, I just have a feeling, like, if I get out of the... If I get out on the dock wrong and hit my shit, I'll die. Like, that's, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at that's right rough. now. And I do that chip a lot. Okay, take him. He hovers above, picks him up out of the water. Oh, no, yeah, he's really dead. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and just sort of uh, lays him down on the on the dock there. She uses thaumaturgy to make her voice carry throughout the entire room, though it's not like super. It's not like shouting. All right, carry him up and hold your fire. Soldiers like come to sort of pick up this mangled version of Kuba Kenta and begin to carry him away. All of you, let him know when he's up. That if he decides to come after us ever again, I will literally eat him as promised. You do not understand. I will have the heat. I will have the seasoning. I will have put him in my mouth. If I ever see him again, that's on you. <sighs> I didn't think he's coming back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about hey, all that. Problem then. solved. Well, okay. hey, so sorry about that confusion. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. We're gonna... We're just gonna go. Is this just a thing you people in the Navy then say to fuck with us? Like, before you die, just some shit like I'll be back? Because that <laughs> is kind of raw. And then I look at her, and I say, we'll be back. <laughs> and I turn around and uh, start going towards the ship. Just sort of, like, squints at you guys. And then I turn back around. Get, give up Rufus! Tell us where Rufus is! We have, we have um, Rufus. Uh, I got him! You just sort of see Rufus, like, using uh, uh, Queen and Ollie as sort of, like, little rest, standing up on the ship, like, gentle, soft, weakish smile, and Ollie waves on the ship. Griffin and Alphonse have their weapons pointed at all the soldiers who have their weapons pointed at them, but as soon as they hear the command, they raise their guns. Your crew doesn't. And as you're walking away, Jake here says, What are you riding with these guys, Jay? I don't think Jay says anything. <laughs> and come we'll on, just... Jay, tell, come on, Jay, tell her why you ride with... Come on, Jay, tell her why you ride with us. It doesn't make come any on. sense. Yeah, there's just gonna be like a dejected silence as she heads back for the ship and kind of ignores what Kira's saying. All right. Come on back for now. Uh, what was your name, by the way? Me. Oh, yes. Me? Yeah, you. Captain Kira. Captain Kira, okay. Um, nice to meet you, Gillian Tidestrider. Sorry it couldn't be on better terms. Thanks for being being down there. I appreciate it. Um, your vice admiral is a bit of a cock, but... Huge cock. Huge cock, but I think that it's real noble of you to get down there and try and save him. So keep on keeping on. Uh, I, I, I don't know that I'm sorry about what's going to happen to you guys now, but, um, you in this time? Guess we underestimated you. Okay, but you're not, re you're not saying it like it's real. You're just saying it like you're saying you're, it. Yeah, you uh, Why are you saying it like that? Oh, this is just how I am. Why do I feel like we didn't win? Like, I just feel Shit, like we... clap back. Go. Well, you are, and then you are not a nice person. No, you are. You're a sweetheart. Um, you are... You have... What do you eat? I, I'm not... I'm not <laughs> feeling it. The bar, I, I am... You I are know. rubber. Yeah. No, I'm rubber. Your glue, whatever you say, bounces off me. And sticks and back on me. Sticks on back on me. you. On you. you. On you. On you. Griffin says, All right, what's the call now? Leave fast. We don't have Gillian's armor. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, wait, one second, guys. I left my armor. <laughs> I would ask what Rufus wants to do. Oh, I mean, he's up now. He, they just sort of set him down on like a little stool. I'll say at this point, if everybody is in agreement, your ship begins to leave Allport. Ruf Wait, is Rufus coming with us or no? He's on your ship right now. Well, he's now. Okay. He is now. His poor wife. <laughs> you exit the hull, the center, and you slowly watch the troops, the soldiers, march together back up into the second level, assumedly back up into Raft HQ into the third level. You're wondering what Rufus does, so you all go up to Rufus. He's like, uh, what a doobie, huh? <laughs> 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 Rufus, did you smoke something back there? Uh, he's got like, he's wrapped up now from uh, Old Man Earl. 
And um, he says, uh, Yeah, I think I got snuck up on in. I'm not yeah. really sure how it happened. Hey, happens to the best of us, as long as you're all right. Um, yeah, <laughs> not the first time I've been on death's door like that, but kind of brought me back to the good old days. Though if Amber finds out about this, it'll be worse than death, that's for sure. Should we be worried about Amber? Do you think they'll go after her too? It seems like the their target of their vendetta was quite clear. But I see the swords kept you safe, huh? Yeah, they did like a ringing thing in my head when when it all went down. All right, that's the goal. Um, so how about that drink? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> sure. I walk with him into the kitchen. So I'm trying to do this thing with a bottle. Do you think you can help me out? And it slowly gets quieter as we walk away. You go to pour him a drink and you're just pouring a drink for 30 minutes because it's going out the hole in the bottom. <laughs> I just stop, look down and go back to work. <laughs> so he sits down. Well, I guess you'll just have to drop me off at uh, one of the ports where I... And then I'll head back. Uh, I can mail you the armor, I think. Oh, yeah. Sure. Chip, I'm, I'm sorry this all happened. Hey, it's not your fault. Um, say, things haven't been stranger, we you know, worse, or uh, just, just a spitball here, like, like there's been a power imbalance in Allport, right? It's just, it's been all fine, just like it was, right? Oh, dear, buddy, I, uh, I mean, I just run my shop and pay the circle market tax and spend my nights at home with Amber. I don't... I'm quite disconnected Dude. from the from the powers that be these days. So you wouldn't say that there's been a disruption of power and that now I've uh, the, uh, somebody may have doomed um, all board and like the world? I'm still pouring this drink. <laughs> it's through the uh, hey, hey, buddy, you know that there's a hole in the bottom of that bottle. Oh, shit. I think you succeeded what yeah, you least... wanted to do there. <laughs> at least it worked. <laughs> Though now it's not much of a bottle, is it? It's more like a big straw. It's a two... big straw. Hey, you think you can work on a way for me to, like, inject healing into somebody? <laughs> like that maybe works underwater and in other circumstances? I can uh, put some blueprints together. That'd be really cool. So, and I sit down next to him with a drink and I give it to him. You, uh, I don't know, I had a sentence in my head and then I just kind of got confused. I don't know, it's been a lot today. Well, um, happy you're all safe, but, uh, yeah, the, it's going to get harder from here, I assume. Yeah, so have you heard of the Beyond section? It's a place in Bed, bed, uh, bed, bed Bolts and Beyond. And you go down there, there's a whole thing. You go in, it's it's the Black Sea. You can just go there. It's in there. It's a Beyond section. You just say a thing. Gillian said a thing. Or it was Jay. And you can just go to the Black Sea. And it's right there. Like, and I slam the drink and I look him dead in the eyes. Like, right in front of your face. Like, you could just go. And, and then we have a map. There's this map. Hang on! And I run away, and I run back with everything, and I slam it down. We got this from Finn's back, and this from from Dre's back. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We have Finn, by the way. Whoa, whoa. He's healed. He's here. <laughs> he's in the tub. He's napping or dead. We can't tell. But we just need Arlen, and then this is going to lead us to a place. I'm not sure where. I think it's going to lead us to some island that has something to do with Captain Rose, but I'm not 100% sure because there's something about a thing they went on that, that the Black Rose Pirates went on before they went into the sea and in, in the hole and we all got trauma together. Um, trauma bump, I bump him. Um, I don't, uh... I just, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm... You know, I remember getting flung off the crow's nest during that storm and flying through the air, but, uh... Once I hit the water, everything went black. Yeah. Well, damn. I mean, darn. Uh huh. Well, shit. <laughs> well, well, damn. I'm losing my shit here, Rufus. Well, you know what? This world has a funny way of always giving the heaviest problems to, well, only to those who are strong enough to hold them. Rufus, I couldn't even cut a hole in a bottle. 
Well, that's just not how you're supposed to use bottles or knives. So uh, <laughs> that's not lack of strength. It's just lack of common sense. But if I don't have the common sense to do that, then I don't know. Oh, don't worry, buddy. You don't need common sense. I feel like you generally do. What I'm trying to say here is, uh, I can imagine you've been through so much already. And all by yourself, too. When you were a little one, the whole crew, we were supposed to take care of you. But look how far you've gotten without us. And I'll be honest, it makes me sad. But it also makes me believe in you, Chip. If anyone's gonna solve this mystery you've put in front of me, well, I reckon it'd be you. Yeah, I just... Now, I have heard a little bit of rumors for what lies beyond. I don't know too much about it, but... If that's where you're headed, I hope your crew's ready. I can sniff it out. It's mighty dangerous. Well, yeah, it's it's dangerous. I, I mean, you were there. It's terrifying. And I and I feel like we're strong enough. You know, we've we just kicked the Navy's ass. I mean, not really. We kind of got our asses kicked a little. Not many crews would, uh, you know, come out of a a thing like that without not being arrested. I'm. I mean, back. <laughs> And the Black Rose was on the seas. You know, we uh, they weren't handing out wanted posters yet, but uh, they weren't seeing exactly eye to eye either. Sometimes they would uh, work with pirates. Other times they'd fight with pirates. And it was a different era that back then, I guess. Uh, but there were, you know, there were crews strong enough to, you know, remind the government, you know, the raft. Remind them that you know, they can't just do whatever they want. And, uh, you know what? I bet today you, you reminded them that, you know, just be prepared for it next time. That's for sure. Kind of hard to prepare for something like that, but we'll do our best. I think, I think the trouble I'm having is just, I would go in there. You know, I was there. I looked at it and I was like, ready. No, I feel like I'm ready, at least for a minute. And then I start thinking about, well, what if it's not what I expect? What if I can't handle it? What if I go in there and something happens? And the part that normally stops me is when I start to think, what have, who am I bringing in there? I'm not the only one taking care of me anymore. They take care of me, but I gotta take care of them too, and I can't... I just can't bring them in there. I don't know. I'm... If I lost more people... to that... and then I have to spend the next ten years on another journey to find Jay or Gillian? I don't know. Or Ollie, God. And what if I get swallowed? What if I get swallowed and then Ollie's out looking for me? I know you can't know, right? You can't know the answers. It's okay. I just No no no. Let me let me teach you just, you know, some some wisdom that uh I remember Captain Rose telling us back in the day. We all know what we sign up for when we come when we make an oath to be a pirate crew. A crew of pirates. A crew of Family. With the same goals. Different goals, but the same goal. And, uh, we all know that this life, when you're fighting against order, fighting for your own freedom, well, you're putting your life out there. You're putting on the line. Every day. And we all know it. And we all loved it. Because that's what it means to be free on the seas there. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's scary and it ain't a, it ain't a game for children. And if we got the chance to raise you too, 
I'm sure you would have known. But you know what? We did it anyways. We trusted each other. We trusted our captains. Our captain earned and deserved that respect. That trust. And he trusted us. You know, Finn, Arlen, Dre, they were strong enough. They made sure they were strong enough for the whole crew. I mean, I think you can do it, but... Do you? Do you want to do that? Do you want to be that kind of person for your crew? I... It's up to you, buddy. But that's how the life works in this world. It sure ain't for everyone. But as long as you're doing what you think is right... Yeah. I reckon I'd agree with you. Thanks, Rufus. I'll get up and just pour us another glass, but probably just hang out from there. Be done. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Yeah, uh, no problem. You don't need to respond. You can keep wistfully staring into the sunset <laughs> if you want. You, you are you, <laughs> sailing down the uh, southern Looks lane, good. I assume. Yeah. You'd do the same for me. Or at least I hope you would. Of course I would, in a heartbeat. Hopefully you wouldn't be dumb enough, though, to turn, uh, <laughs> you know, 80,000 anchor and then just dive bomb someone through a city, yeah, your, your body aches. Terrible. Yeah, I'm a, little, I mean, I'm a little sore. Um, also, you know, I'll, I'll hit the hay, I'll leave you alone. Um, <laughs> uh... Uh, yep, sweet dreams for old Gillian over here. <laughs> I'm gonna start it quickly. Uh, I'm, I, I want to put on, you know, a, another shirt. Yeah, maybe don't do the 80,000 pound anchor from how high were you? Uh, yeah, my internal uh, fishometer said about 300 feet exactly. Whatever. Yeah, she. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had gills, by the way. That's That's great. That makes things a lot easier. Yeah, no, they kind of hurt a lot when I put them in. When you what? <laughs> <laughs> um, and Gillian is deeply disturbed about, you know, enough by this to just leave the situation. Um, and Grizzly, yeah, okay. I'm going to ask, uh, when he's alone, uh, he lifts up his shirt uh, and makes a yikes face and kind of pokes at the claw marks that Kuba Kenta left. Yeah, they are void of color, just black, boily, seared into your skin. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, then I look over at Chip's uh, bed and say, hopefully he is sleeping at least a bit more soundly. And then I narrate as I crawl into my barrel and first and rotate it, um... into a fetal position. It takes you a moment, probably a while, to even rest because you've had a lot of training. And you've been in Kubo Kenta's presence before, but never have you actually faced something so fiendish. Yeah. And you reflect on it, getting the sense that never once was Kubo Kenta afraid to die. You just felt a... Yeah, he was having a blast. An incessant hunger for your life. And you almost gave it to him on accident. They think about the interview Just questions that they must be asking at Raft for fucking Kuma Kenta to have gotten in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea, but at least shakes your core a bit. Before you exit Allport, you um, mosey over to the side of this water lane, drop anchor. And allow Rufus off in the Asher port. Says that it'll be fine finding his way home from here. Let's you know that um he appreciates being saved. And uh when he finishes your armor, it'll find his way to you. Looks worried. Not as cheerful and you know laid back as he is. He just looks a little worried because he knows that uh you can tell he just knows. The life you guys chose against this, the government is going to be tough. And he goes off. 
You guys are on your way back to zero in an hour of sailing as you guys all eventually go to long rest, I assume, unless you say otherwise. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, long rest. Yeah, we sleepy. You re enter the southern royal blue ocean. And that's where we end the session. Did you ever get a hole in the bottom of that bottle? We'll talk about that on Just Rolled oh, With It. Make sure head over to God. our Patreon, patreon.com slash Just Roll With It, where I'll solve Holy the mystery fuck. as to whether I got a oh hole in the God. bottle. What a stupid fucking promo. <laughs> See you over there. Just a huge thank you to our $50 patrons who support this podcast every month, such as Alexander Ask Nilsson, Skeltaboo, Stustra Dude, Sarazaku, Charlie Darling Songbird, Eclipse 1680 Gaming, Bizozo, Seth Cakes 223, Bloke Fieri, Future Oracle, Cadus Betus, Epicris, Leftover Rice, You Will Rue the Day, Farmer Gamer, Jonathan Bleak, Luke Rombu, Lemon Leviathan, Dapper, Percy, Hollow Headed, A Moon Beast Fan, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, I'm Butt Flusting, Agar Steel Jaw, Wolfie, The Big Grumpy Void, Jades 2604, Joey Madness, Pippin the Alchemist, Sweet Cacti, Baka7, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, I See Sharky, Man Made Imp, Jordan Darlin, I Am In Your Walls, Red Sus, Over Paradise, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, I Have Jedied, Now I Am Jaded, Mitchell Everson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, Grand Archer, Narwhal Shellfish, Record Zinn, Crobins, Deathclaw, Sandy007, Apple, JC's Jiggler, Blue Blem Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalotl, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for the continued support of the podcast. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you uh, maybe next week. I think we're about to go on holiday break, actually. So whenever we get back from that, we'll see you then. Enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, I don't know any other Christmas time, holiday season things. I'm uncultured, but I hope that you have a good time. Or don't. I don't know. I'm not your f fucking mother. <laughs>